Ooh, yes. About time. Damn. That ain't no king. That king trash. This man got his ass beat. Just look at him. He's like his will. His, his willpower just easy to tip over. Literally. <laughs> what what's going to happen with this dude going forward, man? This boy hallucinating now. He got his ass beat that bad that he's hallucinating. <laughs> Damn, he gave that a slap. He can still fight, even though his damn, even though his willpower is shot. I've honestly forgot his connection to Wales. Not gonna lie. I love this visualization they're giving me right now. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, let's jump to that next episode. Final episode. Let's go. Mm. 50 pounds of silver. That is a amazing reward. I mean, he got to protect his country. I mean, I respect the dude. <laughs> He is real good with words, no doubt. They're mighty close. Like, somebody can kill the other person easily right now. Mm, give him an ultimatum right now. Oh, damn. Things about go sideways. <laughs> that look in his eye. Oh, damn. Is he really just gonna leave? I don't think he really gonna leave like that. He's still hung up on achieving his goal. Yep, see? I knew he did. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Kill his ass. He insulted your your country. Come on now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. He can kill his ass right here, right now. What's your real name? Lucius Artorius Castus. Ooh, yes. About time. Damn. That ain't no king. That king trash. He done it now. No going back. Scottish. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, ain't no going back. What now? He popping off in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oscar Love Badass, man.
Damn, what happened? Oh, damn. He caught him lacking. That slim moment of distraction. And now, look, he. he <laughs> damn. He'll give it to him? That's not what he wants. He wants to do it honorably in a full on duel, not the easy way. Damn, he leaking. He 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 gone. He dead. He he gone. Damn. Mm, this is so powerful. Just like when his father died. That's a legitimate question. How is he going to move forward after this? Mm. He went out honorably. Kind of tragic, though, that he just got distracted and died. But he went out like a like a G. Oh, he about to kill his ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Traumatized. Will broken. Damn. Thorfinn, he... <laughs> he in a rough spot. Ooh, I love how they play in the past and that that that's dope. Wit Studio, y'all y'all clean for that. Okay, that was his life's journey, pretty much. I love that. Okay. That was a grand finale. I like that. Season one. Season one villain saga. Okay. I'm caught up just in time, you know, for villain saga season two. So be on the lookout for those episode reactions whenever I drop them. But yeah, season one as a whole. If if I'm going to be if I'm going to be a thousand with y'all, I'll say season one villain saga was in my if i had like a tier list for like any anime that i've watched in my lifetime i put vinland saga season one as like mid tier let me back up my my um my statement with my, my own reasoning the reason behind why i said that is because with all the history lore dump that was um brought to my attention Okay, throughout season one, you know, with the many different battles of the many different um, armies, Franks, Danes, uh, Vikings, you know, when they went real in depth with the history of the kings and uh, just history as a whole never was really my um, cup of tea. I mean, even in, like in school. That kind of stuff just always bored me, in all honesty, okay? So it's just like, anytime they go, you go in-depth on history, like, this kind of history, Vic, pertaining to Vikings and stuff like that, of that nature, I go to sleep, man. Um, but thankfully, I didn't because, you know, the action and the way Wit Studio put their spin on it they um really piqued my attention in that aspect okay that's what really got me invested into the show was how wit studio adapted the manga and just you know made it cool you know but if it wasn't wit studio doing what they do i probably would have dropped this show early on like episode one or two just straight up but Thorfinn's character arc, his story is so 
beautiful in just his development in season one. It's amazing because it's just like his sole purpose was to avenge his father. He always looked up to his father, Thor's, right? And then his father's killed, you know, by Askeladd, you know, his his squad. And he, he, he set his, his heart and his overall being on just killing Askeladd. 10, 11 years, right? 11 years that he's been constantly just battling in in pursuit of killing this man because forever as long as Askeladd was alive Thor uh Thorfinn would never feel at peace right and at the very end of it all Askeladd was killed by the prince Canute but not by Thorfinn and this is like that just broke him all together because he was the one that was supposed to kill him from his perspective, he was the one that was supposed to kill him to avenge his father. But all this time, all just all his efforts just went to nothing. And it's like, where where does he go from here? Will broken. His very being is shattered to pieces. It's like <laughs> he's broken. He's broken. So I'm very curious where his character arc is going to go in season two. Hopefully it's better than season one. But season one really truly made me love Thorfinn's character that's the biggest takeaway I, I I can say about Vinland Saga season one is Thorfinn Askeladd a few characters here and there Thor's uh Thorkell those are my very my favorite characters by far another big thing that I enjoyed the way Wit Studio portrays point of view and perspective Especially when weapon action and just fighting in general give you that first person point of view like or third person second person uh, or when you like a person throws their axe or their throws a spear and you see that that perspective from that weapon it just what studio is so creative I appreciated them so much for doing that and being in their bag and being just innovative that's definitely um, a distinct feature about this show that I haven't seen in a lot of anime at all really so definitely a plus um, to season one so I'm hella excited for what season two brings guys and uh, let's I'm just uh, um, I know studio map but they adapt in that so hey it, it, hopefully it's some heat I mean Mappa they be delivering so uh, I'm hella excited for what comes next but you guys stay locked in on the channel and have a blessed day I'm out Thank you.